All right, so if you look in your notes, You'll see here it talks about association with financial statements. As I said, these are different ways that the CPA or the accountant can be associated with the financial statements. If it's a publicly held company, we talked in the past about PCAOB, Public Company Accounting Oversight Board. That's for a public company. Stocks are publicly traded. Okay, they've got 10 million or more assets, 500 or more or 2,000 or more shareholders. They're covered by the 1934 Federal Security Regulations Act, for example. In this section, we're talking about non-public entities. Now, with a non-public entity, we've talked in the past, here's an audit, here's a review, as we're going to look at today, here's a compilation. So as you look up in life, right, in other words, in life, you normally look up, right? Like I compare myself, hey, how am I doing? Let me see me versus Trump, me versus P. Diddy or whatever, me versus uh, Jay-Z, right? Because right? I kind of think of myself as Trump. Or actually, I was comparing myself to Justin Timberlake, JT. <laughs> yeah, he and his baby. All right, so audit review compilation. So when you're looking up, you go, hey, I'm doing a compilation which is less than this and this. In a review, you look up, hey, I'm doing this, which is less than this. You don't look down and say, but it's more than this, all right? Because I don't in life go, hey, I ain't doing so good, but I'm doing better than you. Now, you look up and go, gosh, I need to push myself and strive to pass this exam, become a CPA, surpass my parents and career, and then one day they'll be sponging off me like I have been my whole life. So compilation, review, audit, looking up. Now. In an audit, you'll see here it says the account may be engaged to audit the statements, in which case we're going to follow GAS, which is covered by Clarified SAS, which is Statements and Auditing Standards. We talked about that in the past. We're not talking about that today. The account may be engaged to do a review, a review that is governed by SSARS by the AR. C, or ARSC, which is the Account Review Service Committee of the AICPA. Now you're going to see that a lot in these reports we're going to talk about today. So as we're going through the reports, we're going to be talking about the fact that this review is done in accordance with SSARS by the Accounting Review Service Committee of the AICPA. So you're going to see this in the reports as we go through it. So I'll start to plant that in your head. S, Statements on Standards for Accounting and Review Services, because these are Accounting and Review Services, AR by the ARSC, Accounting Review Service Committee of the AICPA. So that's what these services, whether it be a review, whether it be a compilation, or this relatively new thing called preparation and engagement to prepare financial statements. That's where someone hired you to prepare the statements, which we really didn't have standards for. All of these are going to be subject to something we're going to talk about in a minute called the General Standards, which is going to be ARC 60. So the 60 are going to be the general standards. Those apply to all the services we're talking about. Then we're going to look over here. We're going to talk about ARC 70. And you got to apply or you have to adhere to the general standards when you do this. ARC 80 compilation, you still need to apply, uh, adhere to the general standards of 60. And a review, ARC 90, you still have to apply or adhere to the general standards of ARC 60. All right. <clears throat> it says audits, reviews, and compilations are all considered an attest engagement. Now this creates a lot of confusion for people. The two words we're going to be looking at are an attest engagement and assurance. Let's not confuse them. The attest engagement, the attest engagement, it says audits, reviews, and compilations are considered an attest engagement. Now what does that mean? And a test engagement just says that in this engagement, you're generally required to be independent. So as you'll see, in an audit, you're giving positive assurance. You have to be independent. In a compilation, you're giving limited or negative assurance. You have to be independent. In a compilation, you're giving no assurance, so you don't have to be independent. However, there are certain times, if you're not, then you're going to have to do certain things. Otherwise, we're going to kind of assume you're independent unless you let us know, and now you can also tell us the reasons. In the preparation of financial statements, it is not an attest engagement. You don't have to be independent. You don't even have to look to see if you're independent. Because in the preparation of financial statements, ARC 70, you don't have to be independent. So the question you'll see is, a test engagement basically says that you're independent. For an audit, you have to be. A review, you have to be. A compilation, we assume you are, unless you tell us otherwise, you don't necessarily have to be. So that's what's happening with that test. Now, assurance is the other term. 
Assurance says you're giving some sort of like positive assurance in an audit as an opinion, limited or negative assurance in a review. So for assurance, we are giving assurance in these two, an audit and review. We're giving no assurance in a compilation, no assurance in a preparation of financial statement engagement. Okay? So if I added here at the bottom preparation of financial statement, and that's a different type of engagement, here no assurance, not a test. Here a test, but no assurance. Here a test assurance, here a test assurance. So that should help you answer some questions right off the bat. Now just to clarify, audit, positive assurance, and think of this, my love for you, okay? Positive assurance is, I love you, positive assurance. In a compilation, we're going to say no assurance. I can't give any opinion or any assurance about my love for you, okay? In a review, we're giving no opinion, but we're giving limited or negative assurance, which says, I can't say that I love you. I can't give an opinion about that. But I'm not aware of the fact that I'm not in love with you. Okay? Boom. What do you get? Slapped. So positive assurance, I love you. Compilation, no opinion, no assurance, I can't say anything. Right? I don't know. We, we just met 20 minutes ago over a drink. A review, I can't say that I love you because that's positive assurance. I haven't done enough work yet but I'm not aware of the fact that I'm not in love with you. So that's going to be, again, the difference between positive assurance, limited or negative assurance, which is basically in accounting saying positive assurance, in my opinion, the statements are presented in conformity or in conformity with GAAP or in conformity with the financial reporting framework, general principles or special and so on. Review says I can't give an opinion about GAAP, but I'm not aware of any material modifications that need to be made in order for the statements to be GAAP. That's not the say is, same way as saying they are GAAP. You're saying I'm not aware of the fact that they're not. And if you become aware of it, we may have to add that in explanatory paragraph, uh, emphasis of a matter or other matter paragraph. Compilation says I can't give any opinion, I can't give any assurance. So that's kind of the difference. Preparation, no opinion, no assurance. You don't have to be independent. You don't even have to look to see if you are. So that's kind of a quick overview of where we're going. In your notes, you'll see the term attest engagement. You'll see the term assurance. A preparation engagement are non-attest engagements as well as non-assurance engagement. So they're non-attest, they're non-assurance.